my a short speech lesson concerning the breath how we have to breathe and uh, I forgive my horrible English but I hope it will be useful first point you breathe from the mouth and not from the nose and uh, so this is very important so you can play the recorder like this this will not use just and uh, the, the recorder at this shape so this can remain on the upper on the lower and this for three reasons with mouth you can take more air, air and with the noise it's more long they make no noise and then it dries the inside of the mouth a little bit not so much a little bit okay so we we breathe Second point, it work like when you speak. You breathe at the end of the sentence. Or to separate words to be clearer, more convincing. When we speak, we don't know when we breathe. Because it's the both things are together. It's the same in music when we improvise, we are improvising. When we improvise, it is easy to choose where to breathe because we are the ones who build the sentence. Both things get together. I hand the phrase when I hand the air, I take my air when the, I decided to end a fra phrase. But when we play a written music, we must reconcile our need of air with the structure of the music we are playing. There are some music in which it's very easy because the, the, the shape of the phrase is very well done. some music in which uh, it seems that we have no no place or there is some different solution it's not easy uh, uh, a good idea is to write with a sign a comma when we decide to write to breathe and then uh, of course we can change our opinion in my experience the scene that I did 20, 30, 50 years ago now I can go I can make longer phrases because I use better the air when you are a beginner you will take few air and make short sentence when you are improve your capacity you will make longer sentence and take better your eye. Third point, it is easier to breathe at the end of long notes 
but to do this you shorten it a little. You cannot make a note long for and then breath and then make the note after. Mm. The note was four, but I can't make four. I have to shorter the end. Because the important thing is not when the note finishes, but when the note starts. The good musician think ever when the note starts. When, uh, if we have to breathe in the middle of short and quick notes, the breath will have to be very short. This is not easy. have to make long exercise for improve this. Of course in, in the real music there is some trick you can make like a rollentando and then you start again. Fourth point. It is not important when the notes end. This is a concept, an idea that you have to put in your head. Sometimes some pupils ask me when I have to finish this note. I don't know. I am not involved in, I'm not interested in when a note ends. Just the last note of the piece when the, we are two people play together to win the instrument, they have to finish in the same time. Okay, but this is one of the rare cases in which it's important when a note finish. Normally, the end of a note is not important at all, because what is important is the start of a note. You have imagined not to play a wind instrument, but to play a glockenspiel, bells of church, the only things that make a musician is to start. The end has not musical relevance. It's very few music in which the moment in which a note hand it's important. So when you have a long note and after you have to start something, it works like when we play tennis. We see the trajectory of the ball and we put the racket at the point where we foresee that will be the impact. But we have to, like a, a prevision, a, boom. And this is what makes the musician. When I have a long note and then something that starts after, point I have in my head, not when the note finish. The note can finish before or... I don't know when it's finished. I know when it started the note after. the note after. So the breath it's more before a note than after a note. 
I bred before. It's like when I have to start. I know that I have to start in this moment. One, two, three, four. The breath is in direction of what happened after. And not in relationship to what happened before. Bye.